Hey, what's up you guys? Thank you for joining me on my channel today. We're going to learn how to set up your Loop Deck Plus. If you've already downloaded the Loop Deck Plus software and you're having some issues with it and running into some error messages when you're on the marketplace, totally normal, at least for me. Head over to Command Post, no purchase necessary. As a thank you for watching this video, I've created a preset along with a full spreadsheet of the action buttons, which is totally free for download or buy me a cup of coffee. So we're going to open command post and we're going to go to control surfaces, which will then open the various list of different things you can program like your stream deck, resolve, tangent, monogram, toolbox. So we're going to click on the loop deck plus. Now on application, we're going to look for the Final Cut Pro tab, unless you're using something else, but this one specifically. Bank, choose a bank, any bank, and don't forget to label it. In this case, mine's Bank 3, Final Cut Pro. Now I've hit the control dial, you're going to see a press action, turn left down, turn right up action. Each one with select and clear under it. Clear just erases it. Select will actually allow you to program it. And what I did here was I would go to Apple support shortcut website, look up what I was needing. For example, in this case, I went with zoom in, but I typed in move playhead. And you can move your playhead as many frames as you need. You can do this with any of the knobs. On P1, I simply just have an adjustment layer by the Final Cut Bro. And you can filter through these, you can add titles, effects, maybe you have a favorite generator, effect, or title that you want to program these buttons to. You can do virtually anything. Don't forget to check out my website, download your free preset that is already set up to the interface of Final Cut Pro. I hope to see you again. Thank you for stopping by.